Hello guys, my name is Sebastian Pachon. Today I will go through parent-to-child and child-to-parent communication. The most com common and effective way to communicate from parent-to-child component would be through input decorator and from the child-to-parent would be through something called the output decorator. So first things first, we'll jump into the parent-to-child data communication. And if you jump into the Visual Studio Code as I use, uh, let's say you define a component called parent component and you define another component uh, named uh, child component. So what you want to do is you want to add the child component into the parent component. So I have added some color schemes here to the left, as you can see. The brown reddish is uh, the child component and the blue is the parent component. So once you actually have defined um, the child component in the parent what you want to do is you want to say hey i want to bind a local variable my first input to an input decorator existing in the child component let's name it the same to make it easy for us and now we jump into the parent component and here we say hey here is my first input so it's my first value and we're going to pass my first value into the child component and it's complaining because we don't have it defined here so we need to define the input component in the child and this can be done through the input decorator in this case so input my first input and we define the default value to be an empty string so once this is done we save it uh, and now we have actually communicated from the parent to the child in order to try this out let's just print out something let's print out the message that we're sending so in my child component, my first value. So my first value, if you go to the parent, we'll see this is the va value that we actually defined for it. So this is the way you communicate from the parent to the child. Let's jump into child to parent communication. And the way it's done is essentially through something called output. So it would be uh, through something called an output uh, emitter, an event emitter. So uh, output decorator, my first output, uh, we define it to be a new event emitter of type string and also make sure that you're importing it from Angular core and not from streams or, or from events because that will, won't work. So once this is done, make sure that you also create something that triggers this output. So it, it's an event emitter that's being triggered in some way. So let's create a function called change text and we will emit the value, which we then can listen for in the parent component. We'll get to there shortly. So what we're going to do is that we're going to, when this function change text is called, we're going to emit a new value and the value that we're emitting is going to be my new value, all right? So let's go ahead and add a button in the child component for this. Uh, so we'll call a change text function when the button is being pressed. So when I press this button, currently nothing is happening. So we want to make sure that when we press this button, the value will be changed, okay? So let's jump into the parent component, HTML file. And once we are here, we can add uh, the output decorator here. So my first output. So when, when the emit is being done, we can call a certain function. So in this case, we're going to create a function called change text, and it's going to be uh, defined in the parent component. So change text, it's going to take an, a text as an input, which is the text that we actually emitted from the child component, and then we're going to define it to be my first input, okay? So when I press this button now, it should change the text, and we have successfully emitted something from the child to the parent, change the val value in the parent. Also make sure that when you change the value in the parent, it will automatically transmit the new value through input to the child. Again, that's why it actually changed in the child component. So this is the way you communicate from child to parent through output decorators and from parent to child through something called input decorators. That's it for today, guys. Thank you for watching. 